Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday. It's November 25th. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Uh, this week will be a short week uh, as we have a Thanksgiving week. We have uh, the market will be closed on Thursday and then only open a half day on Friday. Uh, because there's nothing scheduled on Friday, it'll be kind of a quiet day. I won't be doing this report. So the last report for this week will be Wednesday. Uh, today we don't have any economic uh, data for the calendar, but uh, Tuesday and Wednesday uh, is going to be jam-packed. So the Thursday's jobless claims will be moved to Wednesday, and we're going to have a lot of data coming in. Uh, actually, important data, including the PCE, GDP, uh, all that type of data is going to be crammed into these next two days here. So prepare, prepared for a uh, kind of perhaps a wild ride these next few days here, uh, especially coming up on um, I talk with China here. Stocks are up because of the talks of China. China over the weekend sent out basically a memo, uh, basically saying that they will be enforcing uh, intellectual properties. So this is going to be one of the big things that uh, we've been kind of hold. That's been kind of held up with the uh, phase one between the talks, and it looks like things are moving forward. So things are. Uh, they had agreed to purchase more agricultural products. They look like they're going to start enforcing uh, uh, intellectual property. Uh, so things are looks like they could be moving forward, and there was comments by uh, a few reps from both China and U.S. saying that a an agreement could be reached before end of this year. So that the stock market is liking that as they've been pretty sensitive to this information, this news. On a global level, stocks are up as a result of this as well. So it's kind of affecting the world uh, as we know. So let's see how this is playing out in the bond market. Bond market is up about two basis points. We started the morning lower where we tested off this floor of support here. Uh, and are up currently about two basis points from where we left off on Friday. Uh, it's not enough for a price change, so we um, so pricing should be about the same. We haven't really had a whole lot of change because uh, there has been huge fluctuations, like five five basis points or so here and there. But uh, today it's about uh, up two basis points currently from where we left off on Friday. So I'm going to say that uh, pricing has been unchanged uh, from Friday's pricing. And as you can see here, Stochastic did kind of turn to that kind of crossover here. So uh, we could potentially keep seeing this trend here and keep pushing this. So uh, this could, of course, you know, come back again, but we don't know. Uh, this We got a bit of a support here. We got about almost three layers here. We got the 25, we got the 50, and we got the 100-day moving average here all kind of tied up here that could help uh, give us a flow of, flow of support. Uh, but again, kind of looking at this crossover, looks like it's good. we're getting that... Um, I don't know if it's convincing yet, but it's a uh, definitely a cross between the black line breaking through the uh, red line here. Same thing, it's kind of on that verge here in the yields. Yields are again testing its floor support. We're down to about 1.76 currently right now, and just hanging above this 100 or 50 day moving average right now. It's kind of between these uh, two support uh, 50 day moving average, and it's been kind of uh, trying to break it back above this Fibonacci and the 100 day moving average, which has been kind of providing a uh, ceiling of resistance for it. So again, uh, it's sitting at the 1.76 range right now. And again, uh, mortgage rates remain unchanged. Uh, if you guys are looking to buy or, re or refinance in California, I am a, plan a mortgage planner. So I'd love to hear from you guys, work with Pinnacle Home Loans. And uh, we help create a lot of different uh, setups for you guys. We can help you with your purchase or, again, refinance. We can provide a lot of different solutions uh, out there. So if you're looking to uh, looking at towards retirement, looking at college planning, looking at uh, financial freedom, stuff like that, we are we have different ways of how to we, uh, structure the loans for you to uh, meet those objectives. So we can sit down and do a consultation and uh, discuss what you guys are looking to do. Uh, feel free to reach out to me. The best way to reach me is either direct message me or email. Email especially is the, probably the fastest way I'll respond, but I do respond to both. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.